Hello, it's Jesse Bourne and I'm in the box office right now and I just wanted to make a video because I haven't been on YouTube in a couple weeks now and I haven't uh, been showing everybody what's going on behind the scenes but I've been keeping extremely busy trying to get these puzzle chests ready to go out and we're getting very close and uh, but basically of course there's going to be the people who uh, who don't know you're doing anything if you're not posting uh, the progress so I have an idea for the next four days I'm going to make a video every single day and upload it that night so that you can see what's going on throughout the week and just get a glimpse into uh, you know how busy it is in here and the different things I'm doing to get these puzzle chests ready to ship in the final days. So make sure and comment what you want to see more of as the videos progress because I'm going to be making them on a daily basis for this week. So the first thing I'm going to do is just clean up the shop because uh, you know everything's just kind of cluttered in here and dusty from last week. Now, uh, there's only a few of these puzzle chests left without the Amboyne the Burl uh, put, it, put on the fronts of these mahogany drawers. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of those right now. So what I have to do is I have to take these off one at a time and I serialize them because there is a unique fit up for each drawer. So uh, because of just the way the cabinet's set up, you want the drawer to fit exactly to that uh, slot. So this is uh, chest number 21. So I just write 21 and this is number one, two. So I just make a little uh, code like that. So I know where this goes so that after I glue on the Amboy and the burl, I can put it back into this spot. And then also when I lay out the burl, so I have a big sheet of burl and I lay out the numbers so that uh, the grain kind of continues. Now, obviously it's a burl, so it doesn't really, uh, the, the grain is swirling all over the place and it doesn't really have that much of a diff make that much of a difference, but it's just nice to uh, make sure that there's continuity there and you don't have like a super bright, uh, you know, piece of burl on this drawer and then right below it, there's something super dark. So, you know, it's a mismatch. So anyway, so I'm just going to go through and do all that right here.
So this is my brother Kevin's. What's up? So he's gonna help me put in all the drawer pulls. So these are like the finished with the burl, burl fronts. And uh, so now we just need the drawer pulls put in the Go center. to the drill press. I set it up with this uh, half inch drill bit. Very simple. Just gonna plunge down. I have the stop, stop set here. And it's just gonna make a little hole like that. And then the drawer pull goes in like this. And it sits just a little bit proud, but uh, I can sand that flush uh, custom with each one because I don't you know, want it to uh, be too deep. So I'll get him started going on that while I finish up getting the last of these drawer fronts laminated. So to break down what just happened here, I got all of these uh, mechanisms in place here. So what's basically gonna happen is this is making drawers open and close, unlock and lock, depending on which drawers are pushed in and which ones are pulled out. So that's gonna be kind of cool. A lot of the times I say mechanism, but another good word is device. Doesn't that sound kind of cool, Kev? More or less. Yeah. More or less. And so uh, we're putting in these devices and uh, it's going good. I'm down to a science here and there's not too much that can go wrong. Of course, I did exhaust my supply of hinges. I'm using these 
self-made uh, wood hinges. They actually have reinforced steel in the middle for the actual hinge because you don't want the wood dowel to break. Um, so I actually going to have to make more of them tomorrow. I have the uh, materials cut out, but I just haven't pieced them together. You actually need six of these for each puzzle chest. So uh, as you see here, I just have a box of all the parts and uh, there's quite a few parts there. So that's going to be a job. Maybe I can actually have uh, Kevin do that. Uh oh. <laughs> and so we'll see. Uh, make sure to tune in tomorrow to see where that goes. And as far as the hole drilling is concerned, Kevin's doing a pretty good job with this. Um, the thing you have to remember is once you commit to drilling the hole and you pull down on the lever and you start actually feeding the bits into the hole, you don't want to come out and check the progress and go back in because I know what would happen in that instance. What's going to happen is it's going to not be able to find the center exactly. So it's going to spin up and chew up your wood and then the perfect hole, which is drilled perfectly on center via this Brad point bit is not going to be so neat and clean anymore. So you definitely want to avoid coming back out and then going back in. you want to go all the way down the first time. So of course I'm using these fish drill bits, brad point bits, and these ones have this little tool profile which allows the tear out to be very minimal because of the design here. It actually crunches the wood in and then this tears it around in a circle. So if you're drilling especially delicate woods like this and boy the burl which is very brittle did i talk enough or should i okay so i'm just gonna leave it there for today i'll be back tomorrow with another episode but as for today i've got a lot left to do i've got a whole lot left go a whole lot of puzzle chests left to do but i'm putting the mechanism in it's going pretty good i'm down to a system kevin is finishing off the drawer pole holes and uh he's doing a good job with that got tons of them done here so he won't be much longer and then I'll have something else for him to do tomorrow. So make sure to check back in. It'll be exciting update in progress over the next few days. Thanks for watching the video and have a great day and I'll see you again later. Goodbye.